Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video yesterday we were in, in the chat room and uh, I wanted to explain to some Christians and Muslims uh, about what is really the name of Allah and they could not understand uh, because many of them do not speak Arabic. So I decided to make this video so I can show them what I mean exactly. You know, we knew that Allah he had 99 names, right? But the number one name for him is Allah which is showing in the screen as you see there in front of you. Uh, now, I'm sure already many of you knows already uh, how, how, how the name of Allah look like, right? Uh, this is the name of Allah supposedly the way it is normally, the way we see it normally. Let us put it in a frame. And you will notice it start with the, you know, the, the first letter in here, this is A. The second letter is L. You know, we say L like, like the same as lemonade L, you know, in English. This, the, 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 the third one is L2. So the first one is A, L, L, and the last, last one is Ha, which is like the uh, same as H in English. Now, this is what people know that this is the name, but the fact this is not the name really. You will notice just in the top of it, the same name of Allah, but it's coming differently. Look with me. Do you notice what is missing in here? Let me make it bigger so people, they can see it more clear. Okay, if we look again here, we will see that this one, there is a missing A. Missing A. And the missing A, you know, simply is this one. You know, you see in here, like in here, there is this one. This is A in Arabic. In here, we don't find it. You know what I mean? So what happened? Simply, the first two letters, they are not part of the name. L means that. And here, because the word is not saying L, this is why the A disappear. But the letter L is still there. Why? Because it says Lillah, which means to Allah. So in here, in here the AL is coming there. In here the letter L, without the Alif, you see the Alif disappear. This is Alif, we call it A, is Alif. Disappear, and because simply it says Lillah, which means to Allah. To Allah. Now, uh, uh, this is mean that the first L we see in here, the first L, this one, is not part of the word. It just, like as you are pointing your fingers to somebody saying to, like to this guy, or to you. This is what the first letter mean in here. So what is left? What is left is this part. As you see, this part only. So this is really the name of Allah. Lah. Lah. It is not Allah. In here, if we take this part, which is the A-L, which means that, we will notice again, what is left is Lah. You see it? I will go to my book, The Deception of Allah, just to show you, uh, uh, to show you how, uh, how I explain it there in more details. Let us go there and see. In here, I cut it pieces for you, so you can notice with me uh, what I am talking about. You see, uh, the word in here, this is Allah. This is the word Allah. I can make it actually, let me make it something really big, so people, they can see it. Uh, here we go. This is the first, this is the word we are talking about. This is one, and this is the other one. Now I'm sure you notice the difference, right? In here, we notice that this letter, this letter, A, which is Aleph, is not existing here. Correct? So why? 
because simply this is not a, not part of the name. You know, if it's part of the name, you cannot take it off. If it's part of the name, you cannot take it off because this will change the name. But because it's additional to the uh, to the name, then you can take it off. Now, if we look at details, we will see that this one, Allah, this one, is al lah. It is lah. This is the real name of Allah. The lah. And this is how it is. I, this is how I have it in my book, The Deception of Allah. Uh, you know, the, the, the book is going to be ready, I hope, by the end of this month, uh, to be, you know, to be published. Uh, so, mistakenly, people, they think that the name of the God of Islam is Allah, one word. It's not. The A-L in here is added because it's about something unique. Like as an example in English, you say uh, home, it's any home. But when you say the home, you mean a specific home, right? In Arabic, it's the same. So when we say Allah, we are talking about known one for us. A specific one. The same if you, you know, if we go and see uh, how we write the word Al-Masih, you know, I'm going to do it in here, but I will not save it in the, in the book text, okay, we will write in Arabic, <clears throat> this is the word Al-Masih, let us make it bigger, uh -oh. here we go, this is the word Al-Masih, uh, if you notice in here that Masih is really the name, but L, this part, is not really part of the name. But it's attached to it because there's only one Messiah. You see? Masih is unknown. El Masih is the known, the known one. So this is simply what it is. We put them together or we take them off. It's exactly the same when it's come to the name of Allah. His real name is Allah. When you because you are giving definition for who he is he. But if you are want the name alone, his name is Lah. So when you say Allah is not wrong, but the real, the original name is Lah. And this is why you see in chapter two. Uh, verse number two, actually chapter two, uh, chapter one, sorry, chapter one, verse number two, uh, uh, as we showed you in the Quran, it's coming as Lillah, Lillah, not Allah. Lil mean to, to Allah. To who? To Lah. Lil, Lah. You can ask any Muslim, he will you know, read it. You can re listen to recitation of the Quran, you will see this word is coming, Lillah. So to Allah, Lil La. So who is who is La? This is the God of Islam. And by the way, even Muslims do not know that this is in their book because Muslims, as usual, they are people who recite but they don't understand, and they don't care about understanding. You know, the most important thing in Islam is just to be dumb and stupid. As long as you are dumb and stupid, you are good to go. The second you start being smart, Islam will reject you. Like one of two things: either Islam will reject you, or you will reject Islam. Because being a smart is mean you have to ask questions and you will, will, you will expose Islam by asking the questions. And then they will accuse you of being not a Muslim for asking those questions. Or you find the answer yourself and then you reject Islam by yourself. So I just I wanted to make it, uh, you know, sh this short video to show you how really the name of Allah is coming from.